Let me welcome my guest this morning, media analyst Mr. Melo Mahulejo, as well as social and political commentator Mr. Levi Kwabato on the main desk. Gentlemen, a very good morning to both of you. Thank you for being here. Morning, Alicia. Morning, Alicia. Morning. Now, a quick look at the big hashtags of the weekend for this segment. You do remember him. He is SABC Digital News producer Mr. No Motlong, the man responsible for everything <laughs> you find on the digital front of things. So, Noah, good morning to good you. Morning, Alicia. Welcome back. What was happening this week? I'm sure it was it's been, quite a busy week. It's been Let's leave the week. U.S. alone. But what were the big news here in the South big Africa? news, of course, Brian Molefe was big in South Africa. I mean, everyone was talking about him. Yeah. Ngabo being released for, with, by being released from jail Eventually. it was also a mm. big story but looking at brian molefe i mean if you look at what's happening on social media on friday when the story came out about a million accounts were reached on on twitter and remember that south africa has seven people seven million people on twitter so it also had 1.2 million impressions on social media it's a lot it's That's big numbers that are people are talking what about. were they tweeting though what were people saying are they happy he resigned are they are they confused as to why he resigned do they think he has something to do with what the public uh, protectors hmm. report is saying what's going on there are mixed reactions on on twitter let's just read one tweet mr malefa says stepping down was not an act of admission to wrongdoing on his part and there are other analysts who are coming out and saying he has done a great job at ESCOM, but this are social media reaction. Um, Mr. Malefa says he will take uh, the time off to reflect before deciding on his next career move. So we'll see what happens in his career moving forward. I want to find out from our gentlemen there. Gentlemen, what did you make of these latest developments this week? I think for me, I mean, it is obviously a sad case because you have one very capable black executive now stepping down amidst scandal. I mean, obviously, I think if you read the public uh, protector state of capture report, I mean, it was damning in terms of Brian and so on. So I felt that perhaps he felt that from a corporate governance perspective and uh, public relations from an ESCOM perspective, it was mm. better if he let go. Mm, Levi? Agreed here. I think, you know, it's, uh, it's the right move uh, for Brian uh, to make, uh, however sad it is. But I think it will give him uh, the opportunity to wrap up things uh, at ESCOM and also, I think, prepare for, you know, defending himself and, you know, uh, proving us uh, wrong, as he said uh, he would do. You know, we're going to talk about this later on in the show. It's unfortunate now that you're not going to be here. But no. <laughs> I just want to find out. Uh, you better watch the rest of the show. It's fine. <laughs> you're going to sit downstairs and put this on, on digital <laughs> media. Digital Let's platforms. talk about another big hashtag of this week. Mm, what was the big one? It was Ngabot Lamini being ah. released from um, prison by bail. Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you look at our graphic down here, the topic on Tuesday, of course, was big, but it has so far gone down. Yeah. But out of the tweets that have been analyzed by this program, out of the uh, 1,300 tweets, we have about 6.1 impressions. People saw this tweet or on their mm. timeline. So it is a big topic. It, it's one topic that we've been following for weeks now. Mm. What are they saying? What are they writing this time? When, when you look at on Twitter, they're comparing him to oh. the late uh, President <laughs> Nelson Mandela. Um, Isn't that a beautiful picture? It is a beautiful picture <laughs> but because when he came out, uh, his son was brought uh, to Verts. Oh, man. When you read this tweet, it says, uh, when you've proven to to be the best you will be compared with the best i mean talking about nelson mandela yeah. in the following tweet of course it says uh, do not be distracted they once called nelson mandela a terrorist mm. which um with this iconic picture taken by writers and then another picture that was making rounds on social uh -huh. media of course was why was in the mini shackled people did not understand why he has to be treated like a terrorist. Mm, quick reactions from you, gentlemen. Let's start with you, Liva. I think, you know, uh, this story, it's uh, a, a proclaimed uh, supporter of mm -hmm. the ANC, so he's a child of the ANC, who is now pushing the narrative that he has been put in jail uh, by the ANC. So as a governing party, you know, I think the ANC looking at this should be a bit uh, concerned um, uh, with this narrative uh, coming out. And also a lot of people just thinking, how unfair uh, it is. I'm not too sure about the comparison, though, to, uh, to Nelson Mandela, but I think certainly <laughs> there is a lot to, uh, <laughs> to look at with regards to the hey, ANC. it's 27 years and 27 days. <laughs> what did you think? I think uh, it was very interesting, I mean, watching the actual bail hearing where 
like for him representing was Tembega Nugai Tobi and then Talimpo yeah. and the state prosecutor advocate Ruben there. And I think uh, one of the things that came out there is that the, his uh, defense team argued that it's unconstitutional what they're doing because it almost harks back to what they were doing in apartheid with detention without trial. Mm -hmm. So I think the judge then listened to those arguments and he was convinced from that perspective that in our new democratic dispensation, we can't really just be denying people uh, bail without uh, justified means. So it was, I think, a big tick for our judiciary again. It shows that it actually does work. But for me, the one thing that I'd hope is that it works as well for the people at the bottom yeah. as it does for these high profile cases. You know, I'm actually enjoying these uh, Actually, cases uh, being done I'm live on television <laughs> and we cover them here on 404. No, give us our final big hashtag of our this week. What was it? Of course. Trump, of, course. Um, of course. Most of us were surprised. We were at an investigative journalism program when the news <laughs> broke out and everyone just was shocked. Um, Today, just in a minute, it reached a million accounts with 1.9 impression, impressions on social media. So it's just one minute and people are really talking about this. What were the tweets? I'm really <laughs> eager to hear really what they were saying. I mean, there's even protests that are currently are taking protests. place. Yeah. Uh, I know this morning two people were arrested. Um, there are no similarities between the Americans who voted for Donald Trump and the English who voted for uh, Brexit. People are comparing the two. People are saying this has been coming long time. So yeah. A lot of this content. What did you think, Melo? A quick one. I think, uh, I mean, to be honest, I had hoped that uh, Hillary would uh, win as much as she also has her own problems. Everybody me, hoped. Yeah, the deep thing that's problematic with Trump is that he ran on sort of on a racist platform. And the fact that he ran on a racist platform, even if he didn't mean it, the fact that he did it, I don't think that such a person should be uh, elected as a president of a country. Well, we have a Trump president. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this is good in the sense that it it puts the spotlight on democracy and democratic culture. You know, what, what is it really? And I saw some tweets as well saying, you know, uh, America is finally joining the rest of the world. Mm. So I think in as far as that is concerned, it puts us, you know, uh, in a space where we can deliberate on these things and question uh, what democracy uh, really is. <laughs> Very interesting. Now give them the URL where they can get all this content Understood. that is on our digital front. So you could just go to www.sabc.co.za forward slash news. That's where you'll get everything from today. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us the big hashtags. Now go start working because Media Monitor is about to end in an hour's time and you have to upload that episode. Well, stay tuned.